Hey everyone, Noah here. Thanks for tuning in. Today, I'm going to give you an introduction to three commas and how to set up DCA bots. I'll explain what a DCA bot is, and we'll go through each and every setting so you can get one set up for yourself. Let's get started. Hey guys, future Noah here to remind you that this video is not financial advice. It is meant for educational purposes only. Always do your own research before investing in or trading crypto. And now on with the show. So what is three commas? Well, three commas is a cryptocurrency trading platform with tools for manual trades, as well as automated trading bots. It offers a couple of different interfaces for manual trading, depending on the type of trade you want to make. And those are up here in the smart trading section, which you'll find in your dashboard. However, the real fun starts when we start going down here to the trading bot section. Here we have the three types of bots that are available on three commas. We have the DCA bot, which we'll be focusing on today. We also have a grid bot and an options bot. The options bot is obviously for trading options and the grid bot buys and sells at preset increments. And this is really useful for when coins are trading sideways with good volatility. But today we're gonna focus on the DCA bot. So let's get right into that. If you do want to sign up for three commas, I have a referral link down in the description, which will give you 10% off your first purchase of a monthly subscription. And that does give us some kickback to support the channel. So we do appreciate it if you use that to sign up. So let's get right into DCA bots. Here we are in the DCA bot section where you can see the DCA bots that I've created. And I'm going to click this button up here to create a DCA bot. So here we are on the setup page for a DCA bot. I spoke briefly about DCA bots in my last video, so go back and watch that if you haven't yet. If you did watch that, you'll know that DCA in this context stands for dollar cost average. This refers to continuously buying into a trade as the price drops, which lowers your average cost, which lowers the price that you can take profit at. That's a really nice setup. What's even better is as the price drops, you're adding funds to the deal. This makes the deal grow, and therefore, so will your profit when the price finally does kick back upwards. This is a really powerful strategy because you're not only managing risk by preparing for price volatility and drops, but you're actually counting on those drops to increase your profits. They're going to happen, so you might as well capitalize on them. And by the way, deals is the word three commas uses for positions that are automatically started by your bot. And so, as you can imagine, a DCA bot is simply a system that will automatically open these powerful DCA deals for you based on your preferences and signals in the market. Before we dive into each setting, the first thing we have to discuss are the two different types of DCA bots. There are simple bots and there are composite bots. Simple bots will always trade on one pair, such as BTC USD or ETH USD or XLM USD. And then there are composite bots which can be set to trade on multiple pairs simultaneously. Both simple and composite bots are really great tools, and there are different conditions in when you may want to use one versus the other. When you're getting started, it can be good to start out with composite bots, as they can be used for broad market strategies that are very effective in strong bull runs. By running composite bots, you'll be able to easily identify some pairs that are performing well for you. Then you might want to break off a well-performing pair into its own simple bot. You'll then fine tune the parameters specifically for that pair, which will maximize your profits. This can get tedious, but it's usually rewarding as you're creating a custom strategy for each and every coin that you want to trade. Each coin has its own patterns and volatility, even when its movement on a longer time frame might follow BTC or another coin. Simple bots are the easiest way to implement an always on or always running DCA bot strategy that will just constantly buy and take profit for you throughout the day. So now that we've discussed the two different types of DCA bots, let's dive right in and create one. The main settings that you have when you create a DCA bot are the name, the exchange, and the bot type, which we just discussed. It can be helpful to stick with a naming convention when creating your bots. I like to use a naming convention that includes the exchange, the total funds for the bot, the pair that the bot is trading, and sometimes the signal type. We'll get more into signals in a little bit. For this example, let's say I want to create a simple BTC USD bot. So let's go ahead and do that. My exchange right now is Coinbase. So I'm going to enter CV here for Coinbase. Let's say I want this to be a $1,000 bot. That means that each deal that the bot opens can be no more than $1,000, even if every safety order has been triggered. So I'm going to put 1K for $1,000 right there. And we know this is going to be a BTC USD bot. So I will put 
BTC USD there. I'm not sure right now what signal type I'm going to use, so I'm just going to leave that out for the moment. And simple is already selected for us in bot type, so we're good to go with that. The next option is choosing the pair or pairs that you want this bot to trade on. So for our simple bot, I will simply enter BTC USD. But as you can see, you can enter any type of pair that you want that is supported by your exchange. For now, let's go to BTC USD. There you go. And if you had this set on composite, then you would be able to add multiple pairs here as long as the quote currency, in this case USD, is the same. Next up, we have to specify our strategy. Are we long or short and how do we want to profit? For this video, and if you're just getting started out, I recommend that you first get familiar with trading long and profiting in your quote currency. That means that you're buying your asset or base, in this case BTC, with your quote currency, USD, at a low price and selling it at a higher price, thus profiting in your quote currency, in this case USD. If that sounds a little bit confusing to you, don't worry, you'll get the hang of it as you learn more about trading in general. Now we have to set our base order size and safety order size. The base order size is the size of the first purchase that will open the deal, and the safety order size is the size of each purchase if the price goes down. I'll put $10 in each of these for now, and maybe we'll come back and change that later. Next up, we have to specify if our start or base order type is a market order or a limit order. Limit orders will be placed on the order book ahead of time, whereas market orders are executed at market price when the deal matches your conditions. This setting is obviously only for the base order or start order, as they say here. There are advantages and disadvantages to market orders and limit orders. Limit orders are placed on the order book ahead of time, whereas market orders are executed at market price when it matches your deal conditions. There are advantages to each limit order and market order, depending on your fund scenario and market conditions. But in general, I prefer limit orders, so I'm going to select that here. One thing to note is that depending on your fee tier on your exchange, a market order order can significantly eat into your profits. Market orders probably wouldn't be such a big issue for you, especially if you're just starting out. But as your trading volume increases, there is a greater incentive to use limit orders as opposed to market orders. Next up, we have the deal start condition section. This is where you set up signals that will determine when the deal starts. I'm on Coinbase Pro right now. And so on three commas, I have five options. Trading view, QFL, manually slash API, TradingView Custom Signal, and Open New Trade ASAP. TradingView signals use buy or strong buy signals across various timeframes, and these signals come from TradingView itself. QFL is a trading strategy developed by someone called Quick Fingers Luke, which tends to look for dips in a pair. Manually slash API will open trades for you when you tell it to via the three comma site or via a custom API call. TradingView custom signals can be used if you set up your own signals in TradingView. These can be very powerful and very advanced. And last but certainly not least, we have open new trade ASAP. This will start a deal for you as soon as you start the bot. And as soon as that deal finishes, it will open up another deal and so on. All of these have their advantages and disadvantages. For now, I am going to go with a simple trading view signal and I will select a five minute buy. You'll also see this plus button here as you can combine signals. So you can combine the trading view five minute with the trading view one minute buy signals. However, for now, I'm just going to stick with this one signal. This means that whenever the five minute indicator in trading view moves to buy, my bot will get a signal to open a deal if there isn't already one open. Open. Please keep in mind that this might not be the best strategy for this pair at the time you're watching this video. It is simply an example of one possible setup. The next section is where we set our profit. For this bot, I want to take 1.5% from my total volume with a trailing deviation of 0.2 is fine. This means that once Bitcoin goes up 1.5% from my average price, the bot will start tracking the price for my profit. If the price keeps going up, then the deal will stay open as the price goes up, increasing my profit. This trailing deviation means that once the price goes down 0.2% from the highest point that it reached, the deal will close. Keep in mind that when you use trailing, three commas will close the deal at market price. I suggest you always take profit from the percentage from total volume, as that is part of what makes DCA bots work so well. 
that is especially true if you don't have a custom signal that's really good at capturing local bottoms. If you choose percentage from base order, then your take profit per deal is fixed to a percentage of your base order. This might be a viable strategy if your bot is specifically tuned for that condition. More on tuning your bots in a future video. For now, I'm going to leave this on percentage from total volume. Next up is stop loss, which is a risk management feature. Risk management is obviously super important, but when I run bots, I typically keep this off because I am only running bots on pairs that I'm bullish on and I'm accounting for price drops or deviation with this bot setup and don't want to get stopped out due to a short-term price manipulation. We are almost done and next up is safety orders. We have options for the max number of safety trades, the max active safety trades. This is the maximum number of safety limit orders that will be placed on the order book at one time. We have an option for the price deviation to open safety orders. This controls the initial spacing between each safety order. We have the safety order volume scale, which is a multiplicative factor for the size of each safety order or the amount of currency that will be used for each safety order. And finally, we have the safety order step scale, which is also a multiplicative factor, but this time for the amount of space between each safety order. So the safety order step scale and the price deviation to open safety orders together directly impact our max safe order price deviation. And you will see that in action in just a second. These options are some of the most important parts of the DCA bot setup. It is essential that you perform technical analysis and backtesting on the pairs that you're trading so that you know how to set this up properly. So let's say I do my technical analysis and I know that Bitcoin might drop 15% in the coming days or weeks when I'd like to run this spot. And so 15% uh, max safety order price deviation is what I want to set. Let's start setting this up and see how we can make it work. I'd like to have the ability to place up to seven safety orders on these deals, and I want three of them to be active in the order book at any one time. I'll keep my price deviation to 1%. This means that the first safety order will be exactly 1% below the start price. These settings only give us a max safe order price deviation of 7%, so I'm going to increase my safety order step scale to get that up to 15%. Looks like that's 17% and that's 12%. So if I set this to 1.25, there we go. We get a max safe order price deviation of 15%, which is exactly what I need. Earlier, I mentioned that I want this to be a $1,000 bot, which means at most I want $1,000 to be used by each deal that the bot starts. If you look up here in the top right, you'll see that right now this is only $80. That is pretty far away from the $1,000 that I'm going for. So I'm going to drag up the safety order volume scale slider and you will see the max amount for bot usage on the top right immediately stop changing. So if I put this on 1.65, we get basically $500 there, which is pretty good, but I want it to be $1,000. So to get it to be $1,000, I'm actually gonna come back up here to my base order size and safety order size and I'm I'm going to double each of these from 10 to 20. And now you will see that the max amount for bot usage has doubled from the 500 that we had it set at a second ago. So now we have configured the max amount for bot usage and max safety order price deviation correctly based on my technical analysis and based on the amount of funds that I want to use in this bot. So this is really great. Now I have a bot set up that will make profit in USD by buying and selling BTC. Let's go through these settings from the top. So here I have the name and we can actually update this now because I know we're using trading view five minutes by. So I'm going to add here TV five M by. So now we have the name. We know we're on exchange. We know we're a simple bot. We're trading BTC USD. We are in a long strategy profiting in our quote USD. We're setting a base order size of $20 and the first safety order size is also going to be $20. We are setting the base with a limit order. Our deal start condition is TradingView five minutes buy, which means that when the five minute indicator on TradingView sends the buy signal, we'll start a deal. We're taking 1.5% profit from total volume with a trailing deviation of 0.2%. We are not setting a stop loss for this bot. We are going to complete up to seven max safety trades. Three of those safety trades can be open on the order book at any particular time. 
our initial price deviation to open safety orders is 1%, and each consecutive safety order will be 1.25 times lower than the last, and each safety order will be 1.65 times the size of the last safety order. This setting here, the safety order volume scale, is super powerful because the more you can multiply the size of your safety orders, the lower your average price will drop with each safety order that completes. This is something that can be really neat and addictive to watch in real time on the charts when you first get your bots running and you know in fact all of this is really addicting to watch in real time and I'll be showing you how you can do that in a future video as well. There is another section here at the bottom for advanced settings. For now I just recommend you leave these alone until you learn more about each setting, how they will impact your deals, and when you might want to use them specifically. So now that we have our bot set up I will hit create bot and it asks me if I want to start the bot. On that last screen I just selected that I did not want to start my bot because I don't actually want to start this bot right now and that brought me to the bot overview page where you can see a summary of all of your settings some JSON for some custom signals down here and the option to start bot start new trade ASAP and some other helpful options once you do start your bot your deals will show up right here on the my deals page and here you can see some of the deals that are open for me right now I know that was a ton of information to throw at you all at once but I really hope it helps you get some good bots set up Feel free to rewatch this video if you need to refresh your memory on any of the settings at any point. I'll be back with more videos that dig into these DCA bots even more, as well as other interesting topics, such as some nasty three commas issues that you will have to look out for if you plan on using the platform. And if you would like to use three commas, please do use our referral link down there in the description. It'll give you 10% off your monthly subscription, and it will give us a little bit of kickback, which greatly helps the channel. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you know when our future videos come out. And please do like this video and share it with a friend so you can all get in on the super dope bot action. Thanks so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next video.